Thank you, Senator Allen and uh, Ms. Skinner, and committee. Um, I know we're running over time, so I'm gonna try and keep my comments brief. And I just wanna first affirm um, that many of the presenters have touched upon some really important issues that um, uh, I agree with in terms of affordability and uh, so forth. I want to tell you a little bit about 18th Street Arts Center. First, we've been operating in Santa Monica for nearly 30 years. Uh, we were, uh, we're an artist residency space, a co-location. We have artist residencies. We have artists living there. We have day studios, and we have nonprofits that are um, part of our center. We own five buildings in Santa Monica on a little over an acre of land in a uh, light industrial space. And uh, we have a mix of, of programs, including uh, public exhibitions for artists who don't have studios there and a visiting artist program. We host artists from all over the world. Um, uh, about nearly 40 artists a year come from around the United States and the world, and they live and work on our uh, campus for one to three months at a time. Then we have long-term day studios for Los Angeles artists, and we have uh, uh, long-term live-work studios on our campus as well, two of which are deed-restricted. Uh, those, one is deed restricted for medium income and one is for low income. And uh, all of our spaces are um, leased at below market rate, about 50% uh, of market rate. And that's by choice of our, our board of directors. We're a 501c3 and um, we, we choose to keep our rents below market and affordable. Um, so I, I wanted to, um, let's see, I think um, the key thing that I would like to talk about is um, property tax. It's a, um, I'm just gonna sort of jump ahead to that issue. Um, one of the things that uh, the state could be doing that would help uh, art spaces uh, continue to operate affordably is through the property tax code. Uh, we are being charged property tax, uh, and even though we're a nonprofit, um, we don't get the welfare exemption to the full rate possible. So if you're, for example, a church and you're a nonprofit operating your space, uh, you can apply to the state for an annual welfare exemption, and you get 100% reduction on your property tax, with the exception of any local school board assessments, that sort of thing. Uh, but for a space, museums get this, hospitals get this, it's, it's a very common um, exemption. But a place like 18th Street does not get this exemption because the artist spaces are, are perceived as uh, commercial businesses. Because we're in an industrial zone and we're zoned commercially, mm. and because artists are classified as small businesses, uh, the, that ha means that when the tax assessor looks at our application every year, they view each studio rented by an artist as um, a, a market rate function, even though we are providing it by choice at below market rate. So um, what I would like to see happen in the state is that um, there be an exemption written into the tax code or into, into the welfare exemption part of the tax code that would allow artist spaces, artist studios to be classified as um, welfare exempt. And I don't know exactly how you would get around that, but... Um, there, there has to be a way through that somehow. So I'll just stop there yeah. and see if you have.